Hi, I'm Kent Mayor Dana Ralph coming to you for our weekly update. As we head into Memorial Day weekend, uh, it's always a weekend filled with family and fun and barbecues, but I just want to remind everybody to take a minute and really think about why we have Memorial Day. Think about those that have made the ultimate sacrifice uh, to keep our nation free and provide us with the ability to have those barbecues and, and gather together. Um, you often hear the saying, freedom is not free. I think about that a lot on this particular weekend and know that if it wasn't for those that chose to serve our country um, and again, pay that ultimate sacrifice, we wouldn't have what we have today. So hope you enjoy the weekend and, and take some time to think about that. We have some great events coming up in June. It's going to be a busy month. Um, in particular, June 18th around the city of Kent will provide everybody with an option um, for something that I think they'll enjoy. First thing we've got is a service day and community cleanup event. So I'm encouraging city employees in honor of Juneteenth to come out, spend time with our community volunteers and help us make Kent clean and beautiful and safe. So we're going to be doing a graffiti paint out event Saturday, June 18th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. If you're interested in joining us, you can come down to the parking lot at Kent Commons right there on James and fourth um, in downtown Kent and uh, help us clean up the city a little bit. Next event on June 18th is the Kent Black Action Commission's Juneteenth event. Really glad that this is back in person this year. Thank you, KBAC, for putting on this event every single year. It's up at Morrill Meadows Park from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. There is always entertainment, booths, learning opportunities, and great food. So I strongly encourage you to check out that event up at Morrill Meadows Park. Finally, on the 18th as well, we have Kent International Festival. After two years of being virtual, the 14th annual Kent International Festival is returning to Assesso Showware Center. It's a celebration of the cultural diversity represented in our city and features performers, cultural and informational booths, and so much more. That again is happening on the 18th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Showware Center. They're still looking for volunteers, so if you're interested in volunteering, you can check out Kent International festival.com and I hope to see you all there. It is always a fabulous day. Finally, I am excited to announce the return of our neighborhood program. We're really pleased to be bringing back our neighborhood council program. We're looking for ways to improve it, make it even better, and really um, improve that connectivity between our neighborhoods and City Hall. So if you're an existing neighborhood that wants to re-engage or a new neighborhood that is interested in forming, please reach out to Tracy Taylor at ttaylor at kentwa.gov. We can get you connected looking for your feedback back on what's important to you and can't wait to roll out our whole new neighborhood program. With that, I hope you have a wonderful long weekend. Uh, remember to take some time to think about what Memorial Day really is and also spend time with your family and connect and just relax. Um, have a wonderful weekend and remember, we are Kent.